Welcome back, everybody, to Fire Emblem 3. We are actually really only at the midway point of Book 2. But anyway, here we have Dragon Graveyard at Chapter 12. Uh, Marth followed Zane and continued heading directly north. There he faced walls of towering mountains, as well as sheer cliffs and deep valleys. Then, after passing countless mountains, suddenly a scorching heat surrounds everyone. Magma flowing like rivers and sounds of roaring block their passage. This is truly a fearful sight. All right, so what we got here? <laughs> okay, so we got lots of dragons. Uh, mostly land dragons, though. They have wings, but they're not flying. So they're not going to get additional damage from archers. Um, no one's pursuing Marth. But there will be reinforcements that come from here. Which is why, again, I'm glad that this is not my first time playing through this. Uh, okay, let's just go ahead and bring along the usuals, eh? Um, <clears throat> first things first, I need dragon slayers. Uh, Ogma... Navar. Uh, let's see. Bantu would be a good dragon slayer. He's not Tiki. He doesn't get, like, extra damage against dragons, but his damage is, is solid. Uh, Gordon. George. Maybe I can do, like, passing the Parthia kind of thing. Okay, I have six spots left. So, Lind. Merrick. Elrene. Three spots left. Let's bring along Militia. And I think another healer would be good. Uh, Wendell could be good. I got one spot left. Mm, oh, Fina. Fina, yeah, of course. Okay. Although some people I'm going to have to leave behind, which is going to give me kind of a skeleton crew. Uh, if anything, maybe I can leave George. Elrene and Merrick behind. The other ones are kind of too strong. Maybe Agma could leave. Uh, he's got the Master Sword now. Uh, okay, anyway, this crew seems fine. Let's give a quick save. And let's begin. Gosh, is this where the big exposition dump is? Wow, to think there could be a place like this. I can feel my whole body burning up just standing here. Flame Barrel, the graveyard of fire dragons. I need to have a cuter voice, right? This is where fire dragons that have degenerated wait to die. Degenerated? What does that mean? The dragon tribe is currently facing extinction. If dragons do not seal their true form within dragon stones, they will lose their mind and become wild. So that's why they became manichaeites. Zane, can you tell me everything you know about the dragon tribe? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the big long exposition dump. Just, if you want, you can jump forward to the, the battle. There we go. Okay. Many tens of thousands of years ago, the Dragon Tribe lived on this world and built their own civilization. They were much stronger, wiser and stronger than humans, but from nowhere, the Day of Ruin came. First, they could not give birth anymore, and then they lost their minds, becoming wild beasts that destroyed everything in their path. The elders said the Dragon Tribe was reaching its last days. We had no choice except, except to abandon our identities as dragons and live on as humans. The Dragon Tribe panicked. Those who trusted the elders sealed their dragon form inside stones and assumed human form. But there were some who could not abandon their pride as dragons and did not become human. In the end, they lost their mind and became wild. Just like these fire dragons. Yes, there are more like them, but they're all just a pack of wild beasts who can no longer return to sanity. These ones have become the pets of the fire clan who rule these mountains. Well, Marth, let's talk about the rest later. Let's go. The Fire Clan are nasty stuff. If we don't hurry up, we'll become dinner for their fire dragons. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, I've chosen Elrene. George. Uh... Yeah, I guess and Merrick. Lind is the strongest uh, mage, I suppose. Uh, 
Okay, we got a dragon to pull. Again, proceeding very carefully, just like last time, is how we're going to overcome these dragons. Actually, maybe I should have uh, Merrick and Elrine give that awesome... Give some good spells to Wendell, because right now he's just holding a crappy fire spell. Oh, goody, a dodge. I wonder who's the dodgiest of my people. They should be the blockers, I think. Oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> Alright, I gotta be careful how I engage here, because that's a lot of dudes at once. Especially those three flyers. Yeah, I think a good solid formation is what's gonna let me win here. Okay, if ever there were a good reason to use my Master Sword, it'd be on dragons. Let's see, how much damage can it do? 24 damage. Uh, he'll only take 12 damage. Damn. There we go. 44% chance to crit, though. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's hit him with the Parthia next. Yeah, this does way more damage than that Master Sword, honestly. Ouch. Goodness gracious. 99 experience, though. Wow. Very nice. Alright, alright. Let's see. Staff. Yeah, we gotta use Mend on these guys. I think Wendell has a men staff as well. Yeah, he does. Oh, he's got two of them. Great. Yeah, just gotta get past this initial... Initial problem here. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're safe from him. Then they're gonna be coming in, huh? Coming in hot! I might need you all. Uh, blocked. Okay, so the dragons can't get past this. Okay, alright, alright. This is gonna be okay then. Although three of those dragons coming in at once can be a big problem. I'm gonna need Archer, for sure. We'll capture those a little bit later. We're not gonna have reinforcements right away. I need everyone at the ready. Okay, let's see. Get a devil sword. Speed ring, Taurus. Let's go ahead and take that. Uh, silver swords. All right. All right. So that guy's gonna come in. The other guy's gonna come in, and we got three flying dragons coming in, too. Okay, that one can be shot down. Uh, that one can't be shot down, but oh, they can blast me from there. Alright, good to know. Okay, we can take out two of those dragons. We can even pass the Parthia to do it. One hit from the Parthia should be enough for that. Then I'll just have the one dragon blow to absorb. I think that's acceptable. Hmm. 
All right, let's blast this guy. 81% chance, huh? Come on, don't let me down, Bantu. Damn it! Um... Jeez, Marth only has a steel sword on him? Man, I've been lazy. <laughs> we can do better than that. Anyway, let's sink a dragon first things first. Yeah, one hit will take him down. Okay. Ah, George can't get there. Okay, the only way is to move Gordon up to shoot that other dragon down and then run up with people to block the other bandit from getting into him and I gotta make sure that other bandit dies. Alright, let's see. Take this one down. Nice. 99 XP for Gordon! Okay. Okay. Give you a silver sword already, Marth. It's just way down here, so I haven't seen them. Okay, weapon, equip, silver. Wait. Um, all right, and then I got more bla magic to blast this guy with. Only two damage. Oh, nice. Oh, good. She's going to kill him. Fantastic. Okay. So this dragon actually has a number of people he can attack, but he's only going to hit once for 20. <clears throat> oh gosh, if he hits Fina, she's dead. Oh, he's probably going to go for Fina. Oh man, I got to count on her to then. Okay, let's see, what can this guy do? Now he can only attack Marth. Uh, let's see. Militia will also die in one hit, so I gotta get her out of there. Wendell's a decent target. Maybe he'll go for him instead. But I feel like he's just gonna attack Fina. Um, There's nothing I can do about that anymore. So, let's see. Yeah, he's attacking Fina. 56% ch chance, so I can kind of roll the dice to get the dodge. Or... There. Whew! Sometimes there's so much information to process, my brain, my brain can't take it. Oh, beautiful, Marth. Oh yeah, everything's going great so far. I'd say the hard part's over, honestly. As long as I can uh, capture those bases behind. Okay. Let's move Marth up. Try to take one of these guys out. Oh, he has a 17% chance to hit Marth here. Oh, wonderful. That went very well. Okay, I'm gonna bounce Bantu up. That way, Fina can get out of the spot where, actually, um... What's-his-name needs to stand? Gordon needs to stand there to shoot down the dragon.
Okay, let's get rid of that flying dragon threat. And I think that's the last flying dragon on the stage. Nice. <clears throat> Wonderful. Alright, let's go ahead and move everyone out. The people who are staying behind. Let's see, are there any more flyers? Ground, 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 ground. Yeah, they hit hard, but if I can pull them in one at a time, it's it's no big deal, honestly. Twenty-two damage. Okay. All right, I don't have to move anyone else up. Just move them up to where to Wendell's line, so to speak. Okay. Fire dragon arrived. Oh shit! They've already started coming from there. Well, good thing I have that little save from a little bit ago. Didn't expect that to happen so soon, though. That's obnoxious. Yeah, both the dragon and that uh, guy can hit my mage in front. 64% chance to hit. 20 damage. Wonderful. Oh, he doubled on Thoron. That's a... Pretty good spell, but not amazing, honestly. Is he just gonna kill him? And I do have that save from really not that long ago. Yeah, down he goes. Well, that's some bullshit. That's really why I hate that mechanic. Okay, so they're going to appear there. No way that I could know that it would happen. Maybe I can still lure the dragon to spit fire at one of my guys. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward here so we can let that last turn repeat. We're going for Fina in a different way. Oh, but this time she got hit. Great! Oh, god damn it. Oh well. I had to reset the, the coin flip, and this time I got uh, the butt side. Alright, here we go again. Okay, this time I got the dodge. Okay, this time I managed to get the bases. Wait, maybe not. Oh god, now I have a delivery. Man, this, this recording is, is going crazy. And I'm back. Sorry for the brief disturbance in your normal program. Uh, George, can you reach that middle one? Damn, no one can reach the middle one. Okay, well, I don't think it'll be a problem, honestly. Okay, I realize now that the silver bow is probably going to be enough to take him out in one shot, and it was. How far can he go? Okay, everyone else is safe. So let's heal up Marf. 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 <laughs> we're going to heal up Marf. And we're going to be back to where we were. Marf is all healed. Okay. We're good, and we avoided the bullshit... Reinforcements. 
Why is a dragon even in a fort? Can you tell me that? I want to know the reason. Oh, but definitely I don't want to have Navarre and Ogma sitting here doing nothing, so... Let's get them out. Alright. You walked right into my trap, fool! Blah! Uh, yeah, silver's good enough for this guy. Blonk. Got him. Okay, and I got Lind. I don't think Aura's gonna be needed here. That's the best spell he has. Well, damn. Well, I guess it'll be fine. This guy's not gonna have any resistances. Yeah, he has zero resistance. Ah, 10 damage is 10 damage. Yeah, 20 damage, I'll take it. That means Lind ought to be able to knock this guy down. Uh, no, it's probably two. Thunder is good enough, honestly. Wow, so fire is actually a stronger spell than thunder. How interesting. Get him! Yeah! Nice. Okay. Now we're back on track. Again. Kind of. Okay, let's free up my sword, boys. And continue along our merry way, shall we? Okay. Our next threat is this dragon here. Okay. That should lure him in. And we'll move everyone else up. Okay, we good. And a dodge. Wonderful. Oh, Bantu D dragoned. That's too bad. There we go. Yeah, he's only got a limited number of transformations, so I'm trying to make the use, most use out of him that I can. Let's see, Gordon. Gordon's going to be able to take one dragon hit, so... Uh, let's try to preserve the Parthia a little bit, since I don't need to immediately kill this guy. I got lots of others that can attack him, so he'll get 32 damage off. That's fine. Ooh, and a dodge. Wonderful. There we go. Then, like, Marth or someone else can get him. Honestly, it's a good chance for Lin to get experience. Although the dragon does have some magic resistance. Yeah, it has 5 magic resistance. 16 health. What's her health at? 23? Yeah, dragon damage is very, very consistent. Or, uh, I don't want to use thunder. 10 damage? Yeah, this ought to be able to kill it. And technically, if it hurts... If it hurts her with its dragon breath then she should get her health back? Ah, but it dodged. Yeah, because Nosferatu sucks health. Or at least it did in Fire Emblem 2. Okay, dragon down. Ooh. And I can't recall if I need to block off these forts. I mean, they would make more sense than the other ones. Uh, I kind of feel like playing it safe and doing that, but who would I even want to use to block them off? 
I already sacrificed. I only have 12 people, and if I do three more just sitting on forts, then that's gonna be... Oh, nice! It doesn't immediately go to Marth when I change turns. That's a nice thing. Anyway, we got this dragon here. So I can pull him by going right here. Okay, we'll do just that. That'll bring him out. Lind will be safe to move right here. Others we're gonna move up. Alright. I'm gonna drop a, a quick save there, in case that dragons come out of that one, but I don't think that they will. What's your health at? 36. Okay, he could take a dragon blow, and he could fire back. Here she comes. Who are you gonna go for? Marth? Yeah, I figured. Blah. Oh, Marth got damaged this time. Good thing I got Windle on the wings there. Okay. What's your range? Okay, I could be attacked here, but these spots are safe. So we're gonna move him up and blast it. Let's see. Oh, it does have defense against my breath, and I have defense against his breath. So we kind of cancel each other out. Yeah, not much is gonna be gained by using dragon versus dragon, in which case Bantu is kind of expendable now. Uh, sure, we'll hit it with Nosferatu. I should have had some Worm Slayer swords ready. Oh well, my bad. Okay, now this does suck health, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Nice. Gordon's at full health. Let's blast it. <laughs> Gotta sacrifice some health to take these out safely, but they're very, very predictable. They're gonna do one attack because they're too slow to do two. It's always going to be the same amount of damage. They have no chance to crit, so... Yeah. I feel like I should take a turn to heal everyone up, but... Let's see, did Gordon take the hit? The hit? Yeah, he did. Let's see, staff. She only has heal staff. Her men's staff broke. Uh, not enough. Oh, level 11, though. That's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna take another turn to heal everyone else up, or else I'm gonna have a situation where I get too much damage kind of, uh, around to deal with, really, which would be a pain. Oh, wait, that's the danger spot. Wait, actually, this was the danger spot. Okay. Right? I gotta, I gotta double-check that right now. Uh, yeah, right here is a danger spot. Bantu has a tiny bit of damage on him, so I can use heal here. Staff, heal onto you. <clears throat> okay. Alright, I think that's everything I can do, except for those folks. Okay, Bantu would be the best one to draw their fire, then. Bantu does actually have a really important purpose, then. He can bring the dragon out of their hiding. With very little damage or, I mean, just a simple heal spell is enough to take care of any hurt on him. So, yeah, that will be rather good. Okay, Agma cut up to Marth. Let's see what, what uh, I can do for his weapons. Okay, let's... 
Alright, yeah, I will discard this silver sword. Okay. Uh, take. Here, I'll go ahead and store that one and discard it. Oh, it's like at the bottom now. Oh, that's too bad. Oops, I didn't mean to take that men's staff. Anyway, we need to clean up this, uh, thing a bit. I don't want steel weapons anymore. Sorry, I know you're, like, technically faster with them, but I want stuff that hits hard. Wow, I have so many. Silver. There's my silver stuff. Steel. Get rid of that. Okay. Take a silver sword for you. And he's got a vulnerary. He can store that mend. Okay. I don't have any uh, worm slayers. That's really too bad. Got a speed ring. Meh. Okay, supply. Let's store that killing sword and take out that. Kind of feel like I should just level up Navarre, but nah. Okay, we're ready to strike at that dragon. I'm gonna give an alternate quick save here. That way if I get reinforcements, I can still go back to the other one. Youch! Oh, and also another good thing about Bantu, if he takes the damage, I'll also be able to get 10 damage in on the enemy. So that's that's quite good. In fact, Bantu can probably go ahead and pull this guy. Let's see, how far is this one I gotta get? Not, not very far. Okay. Let's take this spot for you, Bantu. That actually might heal all the damage off. And then we'll kill that dragon. We'll kill it nice and dead. Um, there's no safe way to attack it, so... Yeah, let's just see if I can get Navarre the experience. Although, I don't think Navarre will kill it. 21 damage? Nah, it's gonna do 9 damage here. Even a crit won't kill it. Eh, nice, though. Alright, tell you what, I'm gonna give Navarre the kill. How did I just see my mouse? <laughs> Ignore that! <laughs> Okay, Navarre's back to good health, and we'll have Fina dance for him. How fitting, because she joined alongside with him. Sweet! <laughs> she got a level. And her health went up too, oh thank god. She's such an important character, but she cannot take any hits. All right, get that XP. How much is it gonna be for him? 50, eh, that's pretty good. Level 13, strength, speed, weapon level, resistance, some HP, da 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 da. Yeah, the heroes, the ones who will eventually become heroes have a big HP problem, so I do think it's worth trying to level them up as much as possible. They're gonna get plenty of use in the late game too. So why not? Let's see, where's the danger zone for this one? Oh, it's gotta be real close, honestly. Okay, we're getting closer to the end here. Bring it on, dragon! You fell for my trap! Oh, I was hoping it would be a dodge and I just get some free damage onto him. Nice! Ah, Bantu de-transformed. That's really too bad. Alright, we're gonna do the same strategy as before to help Navarre get uh, some XP. Wow! 32% chance to hit and got him. That's obnoxious. Alright, I need to use this chance to give Militia a good healing staff. So place you here. Let's see, item, trade with you. Give me that men's staff. Alright, mend up Navarre, Fina dance, and then repeat. 
Wait, did I just move Bantu and I didn't have him turn into a dragon again? That was really dumb of me. Why would I do that? That's just a waste of a turn, honestly. Let's see. Who's injured? Gordon isn't injured. Oh, 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 oh. Oof. almost fucked myself there. Move! Beautiful. Alright, what's this thing's health? 18? Yeah, at minimum, it'll kill it. Really hope he gets a dodge again, though. Come on, dodge, buddy! Wow! For real? Oh, that hurts. Okay, this guy... Yeah, he can't get me. Okay. All right, we're, we're nearing the end there. Kind of wasted a turn with Bantu. There you go, some free health for you. There's a treasure chest over to the right. The big dragon sitting on one. Smaug and his treasure. Dragon. Anyone else need healing? She kinda does. Oh, Gordon does, definitely. Okay, I think I'm gonna give the Master Sword to uh, Navarre, because can't have any fool around here. This guy has to go down in one turn. Oh, good. And Navarre got healed back. Okay, weapon trade for you. Take the Master Sword. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Does 10 damage, but half chance to crit. There we go. Beautiful. Mmm, give me that delicious. Ooh, ooh, good level. Okay, and then Bantu can grab the other one now. Just by... Huh? That's all you can move? It's kind of weird, honestly, but that should be enough to pull the dragon. Yeah. Mark's got to go east to unlock that treasure chest, whatever's in there. <laughs> I know I'm kind of neglecting Ogma, but I, I really got to get Navarre super strong because he becomes such an important ally. Having a good on-foot sword unit is super important. Late in the game, they do start to have, like, anti-sword people, which can be troublesome. But still, uh, you can just kind of avoid them and kill them with magic, and then have your sword users go nuts. They are as OP as they were in Fire Emblem 1. Uh, not as OP as they eventually become in Fire Emblem 2, though. Nothing beats those ninjas. Wow. What's what's straining the movement here? It's, it's weird. Well, that's gonna pull that other dragon. Oh, if only if I move someone in front of that. Okay. Alright, in that case... How's her health? 23? Yeah, let's hit it with, uh, Thunder. Nah, nah, nah. Let's hit it with something I've actually heard it. Let's do Nosferatu. Thunder will just do 4 damage to it. This I can at least make sure Navarre gets a one-hit kill. Youch. 
Oh, that's nice. I can just use a heal staff on her. Okie dokie. Um... There. Get you out of the way. Go, Fina! Dance for your buddy again. Honestly, Fina does get really good levels up, but I'm pretty sure being able to give your really, really powerful units two, two turns is just too OP to ignore. Alright, Silver Sword. Nice! All right, what do we got over here? Oh, huh. yeah, that's super important. Got that. Nice. Okay, Wendell could get some free experience. Marth's injured, right? Or did I just see things? No, Martha's not injured. I'm just crazy. Uh, I think it's the dragon that still needs some healing. And he right here should pull that next dragon. Unless I miscalculated, which is very possible. Wow, Bantu was a really good choice to bring this battle, actually. Really wish I'd used him more in my Fire Emblem 1, maybe not Fire Emblem 1 playthrough, <laughs> come to think of it, but definitely my playthrough of, uh, my original playthrough of 3 in Book 1. Okay, here it comes. Two dragons left, that's, uh, 100 more experience for Navarre. Bah. Oh, it was a dodge! Beautiful! Oh, Bantu's de-dragoned. Honestly, the Killing Sword and Master Sword are not all that different. Just the Master Sword has a slightly higher crit chance. Oh, the Devil Sword has a very high attack. But if it reverses, then Navar will die. So, yeah, it's not worth using here. Let's just use up this killing sword, I guess. It's got 10 HP left. I'm gonna give a little save here, because I'm pretty sure that one of Marth Navarre's attack with the Silver Sword will do 11 damage, which should be enough to make sure he kills it, but, you know, in case I miscalculated, I'm not gonna lose Navarre here. 23 damage. Yeah, this does the same damage, just with a halved crit chance. Oh, and I got a crit anyway, so it's all good. All good in the hood. Luck up. That was it. Alright, I think it's time to turn you into a hero. I don't think that that one will move. So it's kind of unnecessary to turn Bantu into a dragon. But, you know, just in case. Heal up, buddy. Nice. And what slows them down here? Is there like a slower walking speed through forts? Of course the sniper ignores it. 
Oh, no, 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 that's a vulnerable spot. Wait, is it though? Nope, nope, just get to finish this on my own terms. Uh, let's go ahead and turn him into a hero. It's time to get Ogma some levels up, then. Changing at 15 is pretty good, honestly. I'm happy with it. Strength, speed up 2, defense up 2, resistance up 3. Kind of long overdue for mission 12, but... Eh. Oh, Fina could... Ah, uh, no, she can't slingshot him. Well, she could. Ten XP for such a useful move. <laughs> okay, let's start to burn this dragon. Yeah, it's just another Fire Breath Dragon. No different than anything I've been fighting thus far. Oh, a dodge. Nice. <coughs> okay, weapon trade with you. Give me that Master Sword. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, kind of setting up my dragon kill. And Avar can get out of there. You've done enough. <laughs> Gotta make sure that Ogma can get double healed on. Or, uh, sorry, double turn while also getting a heal. And there you go. So I can drain another 20 HP off of this thing. Oh, another dodge! I like it. There we go. Okay, let's take another 10 HP off of it. Yeah, Pantu has a 3% chance to crit. It's probably never gonna happen. Oh, dodge? That's too bad. Oh, I didn't realize how bad his hit chance was. His hit chance was, too. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, maybe Lind? Nah, that would take up one of the two surrounding spots for Ogma, so no. 24, 24, okay, same. Might as well use Master Sword. Ooh, nice. All that set up completely unnecessary, turns out. Speed, defense, HP, dragon had Orion belt thing. Wait, that's for the hunters, but let's see. Yeah, I already got my sniper there. I don't plan on using any of the other archers. All right, then that finishes this battle. How about that? Whew, we finally passed the Fire Dragon's Valley. Are you okay, Marth? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, Zane. You said that there were other wild dragons elsewhere. Is that true? Hmm, the majority of the di dragon tribe didn't listen to the Elder's advice and were lost. Those that survived didn't really stay at a single place. Aside from the dragon's Fire Dragon's Valley, there's also the Wyvern Valley, the Ice Dragon Shrine, and the Dragon's Table. Dragon's Altar? What? He didn't say that. <laughs> Mm, behind the mountains of Medon is a graveyard of mage dragons. That is also where the earth dragons sleep. Earth dragons? There are other earth dragons besides Medus? Of course. Amongst the dragon tribe, they are the closest in strength to the divine dragons, and possess tremendous power. They didn't agree with, their, with the elders and left to form their own group. They currently reside at the Deluna region, but their fate didn't change. Eventually, the earth dragons all lost their minds, and together with the mage dragons and flying dragons, who had also degenerated, started to attack humans. Of course, humans could not hope to them. Humans almost became extinct and, in the end, were forced to a single corner of the continent. Then, at that time, Naga, the king of the divine dragons, the strongest of all dragons, commanded his tribe to begin a battle to protect the humans. 
It was a difficult battle, but in the end, Naga was de victorious. I was going to say, Naga was delicious. <laughs> he sealed the Earth Dragons underneath the Luna and sent them into a deep sleep. To prevent the seal's strength from weakening, he created the Shield of the Five Spheres and left it at the Fane of Ramen. But that is already ancient history. In fact, it occurred over 1,000 years ago. Really? I finally understand. The guardian god Naga of Legends was actually the king of the Divine Dragons, Naga, who helped mankind. Those events became legends that have been passed on even now. But if that was the case, why was the Divine Sword Falchion left behind for humans? Hmm, that is a dragon buster. A sword designed to defeat dragons. Naga felt pity for the humans that could not protect themselves, so he crafted it from his own fang. The sword was sealed within the Fane of Raman along with that shield. And a powerful spell was cast on the temple so that only divine dragons could enter it. After that, Naga left behind a will to his own people, which was to protect mankind. Oof, this is a lot. Finally, he placed his newly born Tiki, Tiki into a deep sleep, thus ending the remaining 5,000 years of his life. So you can see why Goto is still faithfully following his orders. Huh? Zane? Could it be? Hmm. Goto is a divine dragon. What? You thought there was just me? Wait, Zane, I still don't understand. What exactly did you mean? Whew, my throat is really dry. Tell me about it. I can't stand the heat anymore. Marth, let's hurry along. Yeah, that's enough exposition for now. <laughs> my mouth is also very dry. Alright, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'll catch you next time.